Good morning, everybody. Hello, hello. It's Wednesday, October 6, 2021, and my name is Jennifer Cotton. I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Midlothian, Texas, and that means I teach people how to make greeting cards, scrapbook pages, gift packaging, home decor pieces, like you see there, and many more things with stamps, ink, paper, and lots of cool tools. So, I um, represent the company Stampin' Up! And those are all the products I carry. Hey, Terry, good morning. Good morning, Becky. And, um, of course, so everything I'm going to show today, you can purchase through me. I do this as a full-time job for almost 20 years now. So I appreciate your support, whether you're just watching this video, commenting on it, like um, everyone saying hi here, hi to Becky and Debbie and Pat, good morning. Um, sharing the video, commenting on the video, just watching the video, all those things help my business. So thank you very much. So as a thank you, um, you will be entered into a drawing by commenting, sharing, and comment that you shared because Facebook keeps that private. Um, or on YouTube, comment, subscribe, or uh, turn on your notifications, all that stuff. Those are how you get entered to win these cards. And today I'm making four cards instead of three, which is normal. Good morning, Rhonda. Um, and Sherry, good morning. Oh, Janet is in Florida for her grandson's first birthday. Happy birthday. Um, hey, Kathy, good morning. So, like I said, my name's Jennifer Cotton. And today I'm going to be making three four cards with the Bright Baubles bundle. So this is a bundle from our holiday catalog. Bundle means you get two products together for 10% off. I started to say $10. 10% <laughs> off. Um, oh, I don't know what I was gonna look for, but anyway, I'll open these dies up um, when I start stamping. But these projects I'm gonna make today are also my online ordering special for this month. So, I just realized I might not have enough ribbon here. I do have another roll <laughs> um, that I may have to run and grab when I'm making these cards. Oh, no, no, I cut it already. Okay, Whew. I was like, darn. Anyway, um, so welcome and thank you, and um, that's what I'll be making today. So, Bright Baubles. Um, as a reminder, as you come on, say hi, make a comment, click a like, um, give me a thumbs up. Oh, I forgot to say that part on YouTube. I always forget all the YouTube stuff. Um, subscribe, turn on your notifications, etc. Good morning, Susan. Hello, hello. Before I jump into my reminders, which I'm going to try to do quickly today because I have a very busy day today. My um, in-person retreat is tomorrow, so there's a lot to do today. Um, I have a couple of cards to show you. These are, actually I have a, several cards, but these first two are from my team meeting. Well, actually, okay, let me start over. This one is from a stamping demonstration from my team meeting. So when you're in the team, you get to participate in our monthly gatherings in person or on Facebook Live. And we, someone does a stamping demonstration. So her demo focused on the craft paper in the holiday catalog. So here she stamped on it. She also embossed it. Um, really pretty card. And of course she used uh, a little stamp set called Create with Friends that I recommend for everybody. <laughs> but anyway, this was Mary Ann's demonstration. And she showed us a bunch of other stuff too with the stencils and sponging onto that craft paper. Everyone was obsessed. Um, Marianne also just gave me this card as a fun friend card. So thank you, Marianne. And again, best stamp set in the catalog, Create with Friends. Um, and then these are the team meeting swaps that we received. So that's always optional, uh, participating in the swaps. As you can tell, because we have close to 200 team members, but this is how many chose to swap. But um, when you swap, you get back one of each card for the, from those who participated. So you get all these gorgeous cards. Um, so I just wanted to share these real quick. Oh, look at that. Create. Be happy. So pretty. Lots of fall cards this month. This was, uh, our meetings are always at the very beginning of the month. Hey, April. So, um, 
you know, at the beginning of October, they, a lot of people did fall cards. Although here's a gorgeous Christmas card. Look at that heat embossing on that cork. This one uses one of our hybrid embossing folders. And then of course, Halloween is a, oh, there's purple inside. Halloween, I have not even looked at these extremely closely yet. Um, so, awesome swaps, awesome cards for me. And uh, that's just one of the perks of being in the team. But anyway, I wanna remind everyone, hey Shannon, good morning. I just showed your card, Shannon. Hey Jewel, thanks for sharing, Susan. And good morning, um, G. Ann. Good morning. By the way, this is not my normal day. I usually go live on Thursday, so hopefully most people will have gotten the message that it's today, not tomorrow. Um, but if not, there's always replay, and I email the video out afterward. Um, it'll be uploaded to YouTube, so lots of chances to catch it later. Hey, Cindy. Good morning. And usually, when you go live on a different day, you catch some new people or different people that aren't available when you normally go live. So, hey, Elizabeth, good to see you. Thanks for sharing, Cindy. Okay, so I want to remind you real quick about my monthly classes for October. There's four classes every month. Anyone in the U.S. can take them in person to go or checking out my supplies and stamping at home. So, three options for all four of these classes. You need to register by October 14th by for card and scrapbook class, which will happen on October 16th in DeSoto, Texas, in person, or they'll be mailed to you by October 18th if you chose that option, or you can pick it up after the 16th. So, lots of options again. So, card and scrapbook are $15 each or free with a $20 order. Yes, you can do that to go. I have a host code for the class, etc. Hey, Tommy, good to see you in person, live. Um, card class is four cards with the Whimsical Trees bundle. Can't wait. By the way, the deadline is like, oh, I was thinking it was sooner. I guess it is this weekend for two of the classes. Um, it's just only Wednesday. But like Sunday is going to be the deadline, and I'm going to work on those samples this week. So... Yay, Cam signed up for Stampa Stack. Woohoo. Um, so, anyway, card class is Whimsical Trees. Sign up by October 14th. Scrapbook class is basically fall. We're going to do a two page layout of fall and a one page layout of Thanksgiving 12 by 12 using gorgeous leaves and pretty pumpkins bundles. And then in November, we'll make page two of that Thanksgiving plus two more pages that will be a different theme. So, Scrapbook, $15 free with a $20 order. And yes, I mail you the 12 by 12 pieces if you take that class. Um, and then the other two classes are priced differently, Stampa Stack and Sampler. Uh, by the way, I have my sampler from last month in a black frame. I think I might like it better than white. Oh my gosh, I just knocked my face out with that frame. Anyway, I still think it's a super cute, but maybe better in a white frame. But there's last month's sampler. So that class will be fall this month. I knocked my stuff down over there. It's gonna be fall and it's um, using Harvest Meadow and it's only $28. You get over $20 in merchandise with your class fee. So do the math there, great deal. We cut, die cut, punch everything we can possible for you and emboss on all of these classes. You just stamp and assemble at home with your own supplies unless you do one of my other two options. Um, so it's a great deal. 28 bucks. You get over $20 in full, you know, like the value is over $20 in actual merchandise plus the pro the paper cut to make the projects. Um, so you need to register for these two by Sunday, October 10th. That is your deadline. So sampler is 28 and then stamp a stack is Christmas cards. You're going to make 12, four designs, three of each using Christmas to Remember and Christmas Season Bundle. I did a video on those uh, those stamp sets uh, a couple of videos ago. And um, that class is $30, <laughs> and it includes over $20 in merchandise. So again, what a deal. $30, 12 cards, $20 in merchandise, everything's cut, die cut, punched, embossed. Possible, you stamp and assemble with your stamps at home. So, I think they're incredible deals. Now, you can take those classes, sign up by October 10th, or by October 10th, you can join the club instead, 
and that will get you, once you're in the club for six consecutive months, $25 in free merchandise from me. Same exact price if you join the club or take it individually. So I would join the club. You can cancel at any time. Um, next is the Words of Cheer class. I love these cards so much. I think they're so cute. And yes, I will be using the Be Dazzling paper in the class, even though it's no longer available. So you'll get a little happy cut out there and a couple of other pieces I'll be using. Um, so you'll get that. With this class, you're going to make six cards using Words of Cheer. And I've already started packing for retreat, so I don't have any stamps. That's why I'm just telling y'all names today. But you can go back and watch last week's video to see the stamp set. Or just um, check it out in the catalog. It's called Words of Cheer. So this class is $35. This is all. This class is all to go. Hey, Linda, good morning. Happens at your house with your stamps and ink. But this class is $35. It includes the stamp set, which you can substitute if you already own it or don't want it. It includes a roll of Real Red Sheer Ribbon and a half a pack of the retired 12 by 12 Peaceful Prints designer paper. So pretty good deal. Plus the six cards cut, die cut, punched, embossed. You just stamp and assemble. I have offered this class before. So this is round two of this class because I honestly, it's because I love the cards so much. They're so cute in my opinion. <laughs> um, if you took the class, please feel free to comment about that. Hey, Rita, and is that Ontario? Awesome. Linda, did I say hi, Linda? Hello, Linda. Kim, I'm glad you're here as well. Thank you guys for, for being here today. Uh, let me see. When you register for Words of Cheer, you can make it a bundle instead if you want the whole bundle, and you will get the bundle pricing and a discount. So, Get that. Um, and you need to register for this class by November 3rd, and then I'll mail your kits by November 15th. Thanks for sharing, Rita. Hey, Dana. Um, and you can take tutorials only for this class for $15. By the way, the other classes have tutorial only option as well. It's $30 for all four. That's a great deal. Okay, Christmas gift packaging class with games. Um, we're gonna, going to play bingo to win some prizes. You're going to make projects for Christmas gift packaging using the Merriest Moments Bundle, one of my favorite bundles in the mini catalog, which is this book here. If anyone doesn't have it and you don't have a demo, you get them from. Contact me to get your book. Um, it's like almost 90. Oh, it's 79 pages of awesomeness of holiday products, and that's where most of these I'm talking about today are from. Um, if not all. So you're going to make um, at least four Christmas projects using the Mary's Moments Bundle. We'll, so this class is online, but it's on Zoom. Words of Cheer, you just do at home on your own with the PDF tutorial. This one, you get PDF tutorial. We gather on Zoom on December 9th on Thursday, and we play our games together and then we like I stamp for you so if you do have questions about the make and takes you can ask those there plus we just get to visit and update each other and ask questions so it's pretty cool it's a lot of fun um so sign up by November 28th for Christmas gift packaging class with games and then customer appreciation if you have taken a class from me or ordered from me in the last 12 months you get to come to this for free in person or to go in person is in DeSoto, Texas. You'll see the red. Uh, and by the way, I um, one of my customers told me I made a mistake in my big customer email, the newsletter. Um, I had the old location in the email. It said Venus, Texas, but it's now moved to DeSoto. But um, when you register, you'll see the correct address. Hopefully that makes sense. Anyway, the event is October 23rd. So it's this month and i I keep forgetting to put my deadline on here, but it's going to be about a week and a half before. So it's coming up on time to register for this. It's free. If you've done those things, ordered or attended an event, uh, you know, virtual bingo, um, retreat, whatever it is, you can register for this event. And it will include door prize drawings, by the way, projects, um, and uh, some specials for you if you choose to take advantage of those okay cruise is the ultimate retreat y'all it's getting real we've got i believe 14 croppers and 23 cruisers all together right now but you can still sign up 
It's January 30th, 2022, seven day cruise, Western Caribbean out of Galveston, Texas. So we're gonna go to Jamaica, Grand Cayman and Cozumel. And if we can't get off the ship for some reason with COVID stuff, we're still gonna have fun and you will be able to go to the crop room unlike the other cruisers on the ship if we can't get off <laughs> for any reason. Um, and then your fee for the cropping portion, which is optional, you don't have to take that when you register for the cruise. So you, you like, let me rephrase this, your family, friends, whoever can take advantage of our group rate, which is lower than any Royal Caribbean specials and um, not have to pay the cropping portion, if that makes sense. Of course, they you're only allowed in the room if you did pay the cropping portion, but they're, they're gonna wanna be doing all the other cool stuff on the ship anyway. So it includes, that fee includes six self-paced classes, six different classes, so multiple projects at each class. It's a ton of projects. Of course, we supply everything except your basics like your paper cutter, scissors, adhesive. Um, but we have all the stamping supplies there for you to use all week. So you have all week to complete your projects. You also get at least a half of your own table to work on whatever you want at that table. You can bring stuff to work on. We bring stuff to share, you know, like stamps, some uh, limited because it's a cruise, but stamps, ink pads, paper. You will need to bring your own clear blocks to be able to use our stamps. Um, punch, not paper. I shouldn't have said paper. You bring your own consumables. We bring um, punches. I was looking at my punches in the background when I was saying that. I mean, when I said paper. Um, die cut, dies, and embossing folders and machines. Okay, we bring all that for you to use ours if you want. Okay, so just ask me, or by the way, links for most of this stuff will be in the video descriptions. And my updates um, of that stuff might be delayed a few hours today because of work but it'll get updated at some point today with the links and my blog post about this video today um and the email i send out and all that stuff okay um talked about the retreat the cruise which is the ultimate treat retreat paper pumpkin that's our monthly craft box in the mail which is a surprise which is great for anyone they don't have to be a crafter if you have a friend or family member you want to pull into your awesome hobby start them out with paper pumpkin it's a great gateway drug <laughs> and and by the way speaking of paper pumpkin which y'all know probably comes in this cute box and has a stamp set ink um supplies and instructions to make your projects we have a new kit that's like paper pumpkin this is not the new kit i just grabbed a random one but we have a new kit that came out today called love santa it's 19 dollars, and it includes a stamp set ink a clear block and all the supplies to make a bunch of gift tags for christmas and the stamp set is really cute it's called love santa and it's available on my online store today and then for $7, um, you can add the Love Santa, I forget the exact name, but they're cellophane bags that are printed. Super cute. Um, so I will definitely be ordering those, but I've just been too busy this morning to order anything yet. Um, so those are available. And then you can just go to my store and buy those. They're only in the online store, those kits, and they're while supplies last. Paper Pumpkin is different. It's a, You can subscribe for $22 a month, which is your um, least expensive way because that includes shipping. You just pay tax for a stamp set, supplies in this case to make, I believe 10, yes, 10 Christmas cards, stamp set, supplies, ink, um, instructions. And normally you have a, at least a few leftover pieces out of these kits that you can, and you can use the stamp set forever. So it's an incredible deal. So, you can go to my website and subscribe. My It's a specific website, which I'll have a link to, um, to subscribe by the 10th. That's your deadline each month. Or you can uh, go to my store and pre-purchase one month worth, uh, three months, six months, or 12 months. There's four options there. And you get a small discount with each increment that you go up 
Um, and that way you're not committed. And it, by the way, you can cancel the subscription at any time. So that's fine. But you're not committed if you do the um, uh, subscription. The, if you do the prepaid, sorry. Any questions, just let me know. I feel like I'm rambling a little bit. Um, specials, the clearance rack was updated today. Did you guys hear that news? I sent out an email last night and an email today. And then I went on this morning and posted on my Facebook page and group, VIP group, which anyone can join. Um, just letting you know that Stampin' Up! updated the clearance rack. There are lots of great deals and um, products on there that are retired. So they're discounted up to 60% off. They're while supplies last. Some of those will fly off the shelves. Um, so it is recommended if you want those to go ahead and just go to the store and order. Don't forget to use my monthly host code though because uh, Stampin' Up! might not add that back to your order and then you won't qualify for my free class packet which I'm gonna show you today. So I'll talk about that when I point the camera down. But um, Clearance rack has been updated. That's always a big deal in the Stampin' Up! world um, when they put new stuff on that clearance rack, which is just in my online store. And they have a big banner there, so it'll pop up right when you click on shop, and then you click shop now on the clearance stuff. So, pretty easy. Um, but any questions, let me know. All right, so I'm gonna going to point the camera down. So, as a reminder, um, as you come on, say hi ask a question, make a comment, and that will get you entered to win the four cards I'm going to make today. Also, Sherry already ordered hers. And by the way, if you're a demonstrator like Sherry, you get your discount on top of the sale price and you qualify for any other Stampin' Up! specials. Like right now, we can pre-order a new product that you guys can order in November. It's called Eden's Garden and it's a stamp set, dies, and then some designer paper, jewels, and specialty paper that are going to be while supplies last once they come out in November. But if you're a demonstrator, you can order them now before they become while supplies last. There are limits, of course, because it's a pre-order. And um, we get our discount on those. So we can combine the pre-order and the clearance rack and all that. And if we hit 150, we get host benefits. Like we qualify for all the customer specials. It's so awesome being a demonstrator at no obligation. You don't have to sell. You don't have to do videos. You don't have to do any of this stuff if you don't want to. You can just get your discount or even you don't even have to do that. Um, so what, where was I going with that about the... I guess just what Sherry said, she already placed her order and I know she did that as a demonstrator. Okay, um, so as a reminder, as you come on, say hi, make a comment, share, comment that you shared, click like, uh, I mean, give me a thumbs up on Facebook, subscribe, etc. on YouTube, I mean. And all that's gonna get you entered into the drawing to win these four cards today. And you can still do that after this live has ended um, on YouTube or on the recording on Facebook. Okay, let me point the camera down. It's not going to look super impressive at first because uh, it just isn't. <laughs> let me flip it. There we go. All right, let's get clipped in here. Okay, oh, I need to move these cards. There we go get positioned. So here's that host code. So when you order online with me every single month, I have an online ordering special and it's tied to a host code, which like I said, you really need to add that host code yourself because Stampin' Up! may not do it for you after the fact, unless your order is 100, 150 or more, then don't add this host code. But otherwise you want to type this in when you're just ordering online outside of a class or event that I've explained other stuff to you. Um, oh, where is right here. So on the store, when you go to checkout, which when you click on the cart, which is the little shop, uh, not that one, the little bag with the heart on it. When you click on that, you'll see the checkout section. Above that, you'll see add host code. You click on that and then you can type or copy and paste this into it. That links you back to my 
ordering special. Well, what is that, you might ask? That is a special to get you a class kit mailed to you to make four cards. You will stamp and assemble at home with your own stamps. So this month we're using Bright Baubles stamp set. And I will also be using these dies, but as you can see, we're going to pre-die cut most of it for you. And it's nine dies, the baubles, delicate baubles dies. And if you purchase both of these together, you get 10% off. They are sold separately, of course. And I love these dies because I didn't realize um, it was actually someone, I believe on my team, was asking me about this word joy that she saw somewhere. And I was like, we don't sell that. <laughs> and later I'm like, well, where did you see the picture? And she told me it was in the catalog. I'm like, oh, let me go investigate that then. <laughs> Maybe we do sell that. And it's hard to know that we sell it if you haven't seen it um, in person, unless you really, really looked at this small picture down here. So we have the Mary, I believe it says, and Joy, and then all these other detail ornaments. So, but there it is on page 40 of the catalog. But these samples don't use those Mary and Joy dies, right? So I never noticed them because I didn't look close enough. So if you're like me, you may want to add this to your list now. Okay, um, I think I gave you guys all the reminders. So, this month, if you place an order, let me give you the full details, of $25 or more with this host code or the new host code on the 16th, either one, you will get this class packet, and it's going to make four cards, and it will look basically just like this, although they may be in a different order, because uh, Landa will prepare them. But it will be like this. So each card is in its own little clear envelope. All the pieces are in there and the card base is behind it. There also could be a gift in there because if your order is $50 or more with the host code, the 1st through the 15th, you're going to get a free pack of red rhinestones. So that might be in there. And then if your order is 50 or more starting on the 16th, you will also could get a roll of ribbon. So um, this is what I'm planning to give out, the basic white glittered organdy ribbon for the second half of the month, um, assuming it's still available, uh, like because it's been on back order with all the, if y'all seen the news, they just had it on today about all the ships floating in the ocean that can't get our stuff to us, like our stuff meaning the world's stuff. Anyway, Okay, so that's the special. If you have any questions, let me know. It's always posted on my blog. It's always posted at the end of the blog post about the weekly Facebook Live. And it is in my emails. Like the, the uh, um, what is it called? The clearance rack email that went out today. It's in there as well. So I'm going to make this card first. So I think I am die cutting one thing today. But in general... I'm not going to because your kit's going to come pre-die cut. So I want you to see how you'll receive the kit and, and embossed, etc. Um, I was going to say something else, but I lost it. Oh, I was going to say hi to Trudy <laughs> and go back here and catch up for a sec. Yay, Dana thinks she's going to join the club. Mary Ann, hello. I don't remember if I said hello. I remember seeing your name. Hey, Linda, good morning. Good morning, Carrie. Thanks for sharing. Linda, no problem. You can definitely catch that replay. Oh, Shirley, sunny and beautiful Maine. Nice. We have nice weather here too, uh, Shirley. And Trudy, thank you for sharing. All right, so your card base is going to be five and a half by eight and a half. It's just a half a piece of eight and a half by 11 cardstock. And you'll fold that in half with your bone folder. I just align the corners on the table, rest it against my thumbnail, and then but do the folding with the bone folder so there'll be a lot less wrinkles on the inside. And, um, uh, hmm, darn it, I keep thinking things, and I'm, I think my brain's thinking too fast today because of my to-do list. <laughs> Something about the folding the card base, I don't know. Anyway, fold that in half and set it aside, and then we have all our pieces here. So first of all, we have a four by five and a fourth real red that has been embossed with the checks and dots embossing folder. 
I didn't pull the other one out, but it comes with two folders in one pack and the other ones are like checkerboard. So each square goes up or down. And then this one is polka dots, but as you can see, it's a skinnier, it fits in our mini Stampin' Cut and Emboss machine. It's a skinnier folder, although you cannot run this through that machine. Your paper would need to be the three and a half inches wide. So I ran this through the big Stampin' Cut and Emboss machine and just that left side is not embossed. So there's that. And then my designer paper, it is two inches by five, two by five. And it's the adorable gingerbread and peppermint designer paper, six by six. Um, this is, I don't even know if it's really still half a pack, but you get like 48 sheets in these packs. So way more than what I have here, but it's super cute. There's a whole suite that matches it in the catalog, in the holiday catalog. Um, with stamps similar to some of these images in here. The bell, the ornament, the snowflake, peppermint stamps, a uh, little border stamp. I know it very well because I'm using it in my retreat, which is happening this weekend. It's super cute and super fun to work with. Anyway, hopefully you can see all these awesome patterns and colors here. And that's where I got this paper from. So you'll get that in your packet. And then we've pre-die cut for you, your old olive ornament and your joy ornament. But if you can see, I need to still poke some pieces out of that. That's how yours will come as well. Um, just to show you, so you get the outline solid die and the detail die for each shape. Well, well, yeah, because these two shapes match these two. I was like, oh, wait, I lied. And then there's that bow die there, which I'll be using on another card later. Um, so I'm going to take a toothpick because I don't like to stab myself and poke out these excess pieces. Yours may be full. It might have two things to poke out or it may be like this one. It's unpredictable what happens when we pull these off of the die cut machine. But I will say that stamp and cut and emboss which is Stampin' Up's die cutting machine is amazing. And it usually cuts through these detailed dies like butter. And normally you only have to go through once. Oh, I meant to say this is the silk gold, what is it? Red foil <laughs> from our red and green foil. It's literally called red and green foil. It's in the holiday catalog. So there's the red one. And then the green is this super bright green. Honestly, it doesn't really even match any of our other greens because it's so bright. Um, so I'll show you, I use that on the next card and you'll see how the not matching part worked. Um, but anyway, that's what this is. So it's specialty paper, so it's thicker. So it might um, take two run throughs, although mine did not because that machine is amazing. Okay, then you can flip it over backwards and on the white side, usually you can see better what you might have missed. And sometimes I then still miss something that I should have poked out. But anyway, there we go. So there is that. And then I have a one half inch strip of basic white cardstock for my greeting. So I'm gonna stamp Mary and Bright, I believe, yes, from Bright Baubles in real red ink. So to make all four of these cards, here's the colors I used. Real Red, Pear Pizzazz, Basic Gray, and Memento Black. Just a heads up. If you get this kit for free from me with your online order. Okay, so Merry and Bright. I'm going to go right in the center of this basic white. Hey, Jewel, thanks for sharing. And, well, actually, I'm going to go to, towards one of the ends just to save me a little time. So as you can see, it's longer than you need, just in case. And we're going to cut banner ends on each end. Um, that was real red. And I'm going to cut or make one straight cut up the center and then cut to the left or from the, sorry, from the left corner and it doesn't matter left or right first, um, up to that cut mark, which is hard to see when you have all these lights shining in your face, and then from the other side. And that's just a more even way to cut your banners. And then down here on the other end, I will trim off 
the excess and then do the same thing. So I want a banner on each end. And let me see here, catch up on any comments. Facebook makes me touch the screen now to see them. Hey, Nancy, and ooh, you're in Pennsylvania, nice. Hey, Stella and Margie, good morning. Okay, for assembly here, I keep like trying to find my card, my uh, sample card for myself. Okay, so for assembly, I'm going to add my designer paper first with my stamp and seal to the real red. So this is five inches and the real red is five and a fourth. So there'll be a border. So I'm placing this on the left and not all the way to the left. So you basically get that eighth inch border on those three sides. And then no ribbons going around, I checked. So I can attach this to my card base. And hopefully you saw that I did not use very much stamp and seal because it's not necessary. Um, it will work. It will stick perfectly fine with this small amount I placed on there. And now I have my silicone craft sheet to add adhesive to my skinny little joy. And so what I'm going to do is place my stamp and seal on the thicker parts. The craft sheet, the silicone craft sheet just helps you not get, uh, or helps the excess adhesive not stick to your table or scratch paper. Okay, so I'll just add a tiny bit there in the center. What I really like to teach on this is that you do not need to cover this whole thing. Now, if you ran it through with an adhesive sheet, which we won't be doing, then the whole thing will be sticky and that's awesome. Um, or you could use liquid glue, but still, I wouldn't put it on every single skinny part because it's going to smear on here. It's not necessary. This is very thin. And just hitting those larger parts and a tiny bit in the middles is going to get you enough adhesive for this to hold. And then if you have little gummy, shiny adhesive spots, you can take an adhesive remover and take those off. This or an adhesive remover, it's actually bigger than this one, it does come in my adhesive kit, which is $40 and includes $40 worth of stuff, like a ruler, several adhesives from Stampin' Up, and uh, this, and a sand eraser, which is, do I have one in here? I thought I did. Hmm. I have one, I have many around this room, but apparently not in there. Is it in here? No, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> anyway, it's this little eraser thing that's for paper and it's like sandpaper and it takes stuff off of your paper. Anyway, you get all that in a, in a nice canvas bag for $40. So if you want one of those, just let me know. Okay, so I'm gonna add my, that's this little piece of foil stuck to me. It will not leave my hand. Um, see, it's still there. I'm adding mini Stampin' Dimensionals to the back of this ornament to pop it up. I did five. For me, that's plenty. And this will just kind of go in the, like the center middle of the ornament. We'll cross that center line of where the designer paper is. And then Mary and Bright is going to go right at the bottom of the ornament a over it a little bit and to the right of the card. So I will add my mini dimensionals on the left and right side and just a little adhesive in the center to stick to that ornament. Just make sure I'm not hanging off the edge of my card over here on the right, so like that. And then last but not least, we wanna add a bow. Hey, oh sorry, who did I see? Pat, good morning, no problem. Hey Joni, good morning. Good to see you. So this is, uh, if you didn't get the free ribbon um, with your order on the 16th through 31st, then you'll have a piece in your bag about this size. It is, I'm gonna say this on the video for when we cut. <laughs> it's like 10 and a half inches long and you definitely can make a bow out of this. A bunny ear bow. So you have your two bunny ears, you have lots of space in between 
you're gonna cross, uh, all your fingers are facing you and the ribbon is flat, it's never been twisted. You're gonna cross the right over the left and then push that right one down into the bunny hole and it's gonna look super pretty. <laughs> Just kidding. And then you'll fix it. So pull the tails, pull the loops, and just keep modifying it until it looks cute. And then, you know, cut and make each tail match or even with each other. And then, these are pretty even actually, so I'm not gonna trim, but normally I have to trim them. And then I'll use a mini glue dot to attach that to my card. So just reveal the one dot push, pull, and that goes right up there on that ornament thing, hook section. And there we go. My other bow is much better. This is the one I'll give away in the prize. <laughs> Super cute, I think. Love that foil paper. So with these cards, which you can get free with your online order in October, I tried to use lots of specialty and um, designer papers. Oh, and notice these patterns are different. When you get your kit in the mail, you might get this pattern or this one. Um, I pulled both of them out already for us to be able to use when we do prep these classes. Okay, so there we go. Oh, I forgot there's rhinestones on this. Um, which you'll, if you don't get the free rhinestones with a $50 order, <laughs> sorry, um, this month in or October 1 through 15 with that host code, then we'll cut and give you enough rhinestones to make all of your cards. So I'm going to use the pointy end of my take your pick tool. And where I put these rhinestones is on these berries right here. There are six of them. Look at that it's stuck to my hand instead. So it's a subtle because it's red on red. That's why I missed it when I'm putting it together here. Um, but I do think in person, it's going to definitely give your card, like take it up a notch. So there's three. They're, my fingers must be sticky today. <laughs> Everything's sticking to them. I haven't even been stamping yet. One, two, three, four, five, two, four, Six, yes, there's all six. So I didn't personally add them to that one or these other ones, I just highlighted those six. You could also highlight these down here instead if you want. So there we go. Okay, so there's our first card down. It is Old Olive, Janet. Thank you uh, also for your comment. Hey, Dorothy. Thanks, Nancy. Good morning, Chris. Good morning, Alejandra. Let me pull this over. Oh, and of course, after you make your card, you can place it in your clear envelope, and then you can mail it in the clear envelope. Just go inside the post office and ask what postage they want, or you can put this inside a white envelope or whatever color and mail it that way to protect it. Um, to mail it in the clear, you put the address stuff on the back here, either slip it in there or stickers on the outside postage stamp on the outside so they can cancel it and again just ask the post office what they want for it but either way it makes a huge statement when it comes in the mail like this or you deliver it at an event because then everybody gets to see your card and you get to brag so don't forget to use that clear envelope definitely and, and it, it can just protect your cards while you're waiting to decide who to send them to okay so this next one uses the green foil ooh ah and Oh, is this the red foil? I guess I did use red foil on this one. Hold on, no, I didn't. I cut that wrong. Darn it. <laughs> I didn't think I used red foil on that. I got confused when I made it for the video. Okay, it's red velvet, so I'm gonna have to die cut that real quick. Darn, darn, darn. Um, but this red velvet is such a deep red. Like, it's very deep. So I love it, plus it has texture. So there's those two reds. They're, they are similar, um, but the red velvet, I don't know if you can tell in the video, it's even deeper. Such a deep red. This is the dye that says, oh, it says Mary and Bright. I think I just said Mary earlier. 
and you can see where I cut mine out right there. So I'm going to snip so I can maybe use these little scraps of red velvet for something else later, like um, uh, little ornaments or something. Okay, so that's the red velvet, which is in the holiday catalog as well. I'll put all this paper back in my packaging here. And possibly, that's what this is supposed to be. I accidentally cut it out of the foil, which would look perfectly fine, but I want you to see the real deal that you would receive in your kit. So let me document this real quick. And I believe I only had to run this one through once. I will check. But again, it's a specialty, so if you have to do it twice, that's understandable. I do think I ran all of these through only once. Yeah, one cut, it all is ready to go. Clean off your plate because you don't want that to embed into your next project. And then, of course, we get to poke all these out, though. <laughs> so you can kind of thump. I usually do this over a trash can, but we're in a rush here since I kind of messed up. Um, and then when necessary, I'll use the toothpick and also this method from the back. Okay. <laughs> but it's fuzzy, it's deep red, it's so pretty for a Christmas card, like this red velvet. Of course, Valentine's as well, or anything where you want red. But um, I like it for a Christmas card, of course. And sorry about this, but I do want the sample to look nice. So, I don't know how well you can see all the little pieces that need to come out. They are, there's some little bitty ones on this one. Some little holes there. And the larger ones are easier. La la la. <laughs> as soon as I saw that foil, I was like, that is not right. Okay, did I get them all? I think so, basically. And sometimes when I miss some, when I'm putting the adhesive, it like sticks to them and pulls them off. Okay, so there is the, the velvet on the foil versus foil on the foil. I don't know if you can see the difference in the video, but in person, definitely a difference. That, that velvet is amazing. Um, I'm looking over here at my little scrap pile to see if I accidentally did cut it and didn't bring it over here, but it's not there. Make sure you clean out your die. See, there's a piece stuck right in there. That's going to block it from die cutting next time. So always clean out the die before you put it away or use it again. All right, not, that didn't take too long. So we have that, and then um, our card base, then our basic white here. This has been embossed with another of the small embossing folders called Wintry. It's basic white. And I was gonna put um, some green paper on here, but the way I avoided that was changing this to white because of the uh, green not really exactly matching any of our green card stocks. Um, so this folder is the Wintry, and it comes with two. I'm going to use the snowflake one on another card in a minute. So you get the, the branches from the tree. What's it called? Oh, good. Dorothy says you can't see the difference. Spruce tree, whatever they're called, the Christmas trees. And then um, snowflakes. Okay. You get both. So... You can see that embossing on there so that we have the little white stripe again. And we have these, and then we have another two by five designer paper, but this one is called Painted Christmas. This is the one I'm using for Stampa Stack this month, Painted Christmas. And it's in the holiday, of course, and it matches, I think it's the one for Stampa Stack, I'm pretty sure. Um, really Christmassy paper. Here's the pattern I used. This pack is very used, well loved, as you can tell. Um, but this one, 
this particular pattern makes a nice background for the um, this card. Sorry. Then I have a, oh, a strip of the red foil. That's probably where I got confused um, when I cut that velvet or didn't cut the velvet. But anyway, it's the red foil. It's one half by five inches long. I hope I didn't mess up my instructions on that card too much due to my mistake. <laughs> okay, so fold our card base in half, set it aside. Uh, this card, oh yeah, there's no stamping on this card. So if you get this free kit, you don't even have to stamp on this one, just put it together. So first will be my designer paper. So this is, um, this card, the first card was portrait, this card is landscape. So the designer paper goes, when it's turned landscape, at the bottom of the basic white, same border as before, covering up that stripe that's not embossed. It's just at the bottom instead. Then we're gonna put the ornaments together just like before, my silicone craft sheet, and my seal adhesive, stamp and seal, on the larger sections, and then just a tiny bit on the not larger sections. And then that goes right down on the green foil ornament. And again, I can use my adhesive remover to take off any excess. Um, before I put this down though, I do need to place my one half by five real or red foil. It's not real red. And that just goes to across to cover this seam in the middle between the designer paper and the embossed white cardstock. Then that can now go on my card base. I have these little pieces of red stuck all over me. So white on white, really pretty. And then dimensionals on this greeting. Of course I use minis. laughing. Y'all probably can't even see them, but these little pieces stuck to me are annoying me. Oh, I got it. I'll do five dimensionals on this ornament as well. It will go over here to the left side of the card. And then the bow is, the position of the bow is the same as before. So it's the same length, same kind of bow, same ribbon, white glittered organdy, which you can get a free roll of with your second order of the month. It is one class packet per person each month. Uh, I did, that might be something I was going to say earlier, and then I blanked out. This bow's coming out funny, but we will go with it and pretend we wanted that tail to go straight up for the sake of time. <laughs> Getting the loops even sometimes is just a little bit time consuming because you you pull the tail and then when you pull it tight again, one of the loops goes bigger. Um, you can eventually get them correct, of course, but sometimes it's a little time consuming. Not like horrible, but when you're on a video, it feels like that's forever. <laughs> okay, mini glue dot. And right there. And I think that rib, that bow actually looks cute like that, so it's fine. But I'll show you on my original, it was like a regular bow. Also, I need to add a rhinestone. Because I keep forgetting them. So this one, this little red rhinestone will just go to dot the eye of bright. Dot that eye. All right. There we go, card number two. I think cute. <laughs> you can pretend the red foil is my nail art. That is true, <laughs> Janet. Hey, Marilyn in uh, Georgia, hello. Linda, no problem, coming in late. Thank you, Janet. Sorry, I got, I'm trying to read the comments and um, do this. So placing your clear envelope to protect it until you're ready to use it and all that stuff. Okay, next up is this card. 
So for this one, this is one, I have a little staticky there, um, that we are going to use our Stampin' Blends and color in one of these super pretty ornament stamps. Yes. So for this one, we have, of course, our card base, Basic White. And then <laughs> I'm knocking paper down off the table with my shirt, you know, um, to the floor and it hit my leg and I thought a bug was on me. Then I looked and there's all this paper on the floor. But luckily you guys didn't have to hear me scream about a bug. So that's good. I'm cleaning up this paper here because I had a little pile at the end of the table that I'm making a mess of. Okay, so uh, let me tell you the pieces. Real red, four by five and a fourth, that's been embossed with the macrame embossing folder from the annual catalog. Um, so it is macrame themed, obviously, but it works great for a winter, kind of a sweater, cold weather look as well. So macrame, that's a great one. And then this designer paper is called Heartwarming Hugs. Let me make sure. Heartwarming Hugs, and it's in the holiday catalog. This one was in our holiday last year, so it, they brought it back, and it's super cute, just, again, like generic images that can be used in your holiday cards. They're not even specifically holiday images. They're like checks, uh, plaid, dots, stripes, houndstooth, like just pretty images, but in Christmassy colors like Mossy Meadow, Pear Pizzazz, Real Red, and Whisper White. Um, so I use this piece here and it is three and a half by four and a half. Three and a half by four and a half. And then my white, actually I need to measure, oh this is just a scrap to stamp the ornament on, I forgot. And then I have a little piece of white for my greeting, half inch wide and then pre die cut for you will be the red foil bow and of course you may need to poke out these pieces just depending on what happened when we die cut it we being landa <laughs> uh, oh and there's a piece of ribbon in here as well and it's a short little piece so i'll show you what i did with that this ribbon is about four and one fourth inches long Okay, so let's stamp our ornament. I used this one, more like a teardrop shape, and Memento Black ink. So you can press hard on Memento Black, so do. <laughs> and make sure it's uh, inked up real well. Also, you can purchase an ink refill for all of our ink pads, including Memento, Stays On, all those. We have those for you as well. By the way, obviously this is a red rubber stamp set. And then, so that was Memento because I'm going to color in with Stampin' Blends, just one color, um, soft sea foam. Um, mm, I was gonna say something else, I lost it. And then my greeting is going to say Joy. And so on this little strip, I want Joy to be more to the left. Ooh, I can't see the top edge of that. See if I'm still in camera or not. Perfect. So more to the left on Joy in real red. And then let me go ahead and do my coloring. So this coloring, I'm going to grab my glasses, but I wanted to add red, but then I just thought it might be too, I don't know, too much. But the good thing about kits that you stamp at home, I'm going to start out with my dark sea foam with the fine tip instead of the thick one. So look at those lines drawn on the case for you. Um, anyway, I'm going to start out with the center circle and trace the dots and lines in dark. Um, so I wanted to add red to some of these images, but I just was afraid it was going to be too much. So 
so I just left it off. But when you're stamping at home, and I'm going to outline the circle in dark. When you're stamping at home, of course, you can color however you like. So you might have 10 colors on here versus my one. And then I'll use the brush tip end of Soft Seafoam Light to color in the whole thing. Touching the dark parts as well that I already added. And then you can, and I found that I did kind of need to, you can go back and add more dark. You can keep going back and adding dark and light and blending and dark and light. The going over it with the light is the blending portion. Um, you can do that as many times as you want. There's no limit. Your paper doesn't break down because these are alcohol based. It does bleed through. Um, Memento is a water-based ink. These are alcohol markers, so water ink, alcohol markers. That's the dark. Um, I'm going to do the other two circles the same, except there's not an outline around the edge, so I'm not going to do that part. Um, anyway, you can... I forgot what I was saying. But you can color as much... Oh, it doesn't break down your paper, so you can keep adding layer after layer after layer. There's also the color lifter if you want a lighter section, and these are really arty, <laughs> an artistic product, but if you're not artistic like me, you can still make it work, which is the beauty of Stampin' Blends, because they just color so smoothly like all the streaks disappear. So you're not going to have weird lines where you went over it too many times or anything like that. And if you do see something like that, you just go over it again with light and blend it out. So mine is a little, I think I'll just go over this in light one more time. But it'll always um, blend out and smooth out, I should say. I forgot to trace this outer circle of the middle one one more time. Speed. And you always want to put your lids back on your blends right away so that you don't, uh, so they, they don't dry out super fast. They're alcohol based, so they're going to dry out um, eventually, but you can make it last longer. So at that top, I just put dark on the um, whatever that section is on the detail, and then I'm going to go light on the full little half circles up here, going over the dark section as well. And I'm using the fine point because this is a small section. There's that. And then same thing on bottom, and that's all the coloring I'm going to do. And then I will die cut this out. So if you don't have the dies when you're doing this at home, you can hand cut. And just a reminder, this is the free class kit you can get this month. So that's why I keep saying if you're doing this at home, because we'll cut it all for you just like I've shown. And then mail it to you after the month ends, by the way. We don't mail throughout the month. It's one mailing a month. So like Landa's working on the September ones right now. Okay, so that is all the coloring I did. You could get a lot more elaborate with that. But I actually thought, like, I didn't think it needed more. But anyway, that was my opinion. <laughs> Let me clean off this plate real quick that I die cut that red velvet on. I'm scraping it off with my fingernail into the trash can. And then um, I cut that out. The machine comes with everything you need to be able to die cut and emboss everything we sell, by the way. So, no extra purchase necessary on that. Um, now, these dies have these two little half moon dies. That is for this section of your ornament. And on this card, I did think it needed that. So, I'm going to die cut that out as well as die cut the full ornament out. I'm going to try to do those at the same time. I didn't the first time because I forgot about that die. Um, but I'm going to use my post-it tape, which is in my Amazon store. 
and see if I can position this properly and tape it down so I only have to run it through once. And if I ruin it, we'll pretend it looks good and I'll give away the good card just to save time because we are not doing all that again on the video. <laughs> so I taped it down, have my cutting pad on top and crank it through. And definitely just one time on this one. Oh, I definitely die cut that out. <laughs> just the positioning is what we'll check. Let me move all this first. Pretty good, pretty good. <laughs> Not perfect. <laughs> Nothing I make is perfect, so that's fine. Oh, I forgot the die is still on here. My gosh, I almost threw that away. <sighs> that's why I write how many dies are in the pack on the container so I can count them before I put them back away. <laughs> so let me throw this back in here before I lose it. Okay. Now, we have all our pieces. I do need to cut my banner on Joy. A little clean up there. Okay, so I want the banner only on the right side, so I'm going to trim off the excess and then just cut just like I did on the first card, I believe. Straight up the center and then from the corner to that cut and the corner to that cut. The straight up the center cut just gives you a good guide rather than free handing that. Okay, so now we can put this together. So first, my real red is flat, the one that's embossed with macrame, four by five and a fourth, onto that white card base. This is a portrait shaped card. And then the designer paper I placed on, oh, actually, I don't wanna do that yet, but it's gonna be on dimensionals. What I wanna do next, actually, is go ahead and add my ornament flat because the designer paper will be on dimensionals, just right in the center of that designer paper. And then I want to add the bow because I need to cut off the top and I wanna do it from the back of this piece. So I'm going to add adhesive just like before with my silicone craft sheet, not too much. And then the bow goes right in the middle of that hole on the ornament at the top where the little hook would go. And then um, my, oh, I will flip this over on the back so I can see what I'm doing and cut off the excess. And then if I need my little eraser, which I need my readers really to see if I need that, but I'm just pretending I'll erase that excess. Now I can add my dimensionals. I didn't want to forget and glue this down before I cut off the top of that bow. So, um, dimensionals here somewhere. I'm going to use nine on this card. That is an extra cover. Um, because of how large it is on this piece, I should say. So, three three rows of three. That one came off already. And then that just goes right in the center, right side up. <laughs> and I found with the dimensionals, for whatever reason, that allows the background that's embossed on that real red to show a little better. And then for Joy, poor Joy, <laughs> I'm going to add adhesive on the back of it first. And I'm gonna take my little ribbon and make, I never know what you call the shape, but you fold it back and forth on each other, on itself, I should say. And then stick joy to that. Simple, simple. And then hold it down because it's probably well, it is stuck, but sometimes it's not stuck in all the places. But then I always use dimensionals on top of that when I do this little ribbon thing, which helps secure the ribbon down to the paper even more. 
And then now I can attach this to my card with dimensionals. And it just goes right there in the bottom right hand corner. And then last but not least, didn't forget them this time, is the rhinestones. And they, they will add our red to the ornament by going in the center of these three middle circles. Still got the sticky fingers today. And that's it. My joy might need another dimensional. I'm not sure. It popped up a little bit. So there we go. That's that one. Thank you, France. Zigzag, Jewel. Yes, that's a good one. <laughs> Carrie, nice. Hey, Shirley, thanks for sharing. Hey, Teresa. Go. <laughs> I'm not going to repeat that, but good morning, hot stuff, Teresa. Thank you, thank you. Let's see. Darla, no problem. Hey, Pam. I'm trying to hold this up like in frame and check out comments. All right. So, thank you, Ramona. <laughs> Linda, yes, it is very tempting. Thanks, Stella. Here's the original. Pretty much looks the same. So that's number three, and we have one more to go. So let me put this in my clear envelope, of course. Keep it nice and protected. And then, last but not least, we're going away from all these beautiful, bright colors and going with our sort of silver and gray theme. So this card uses the Peaceful Place designer paper. No, nope, no more red rhinestones on this card. <laughs> um, peaceful Place, let me grab it. I'm putting, putting the rhinestones away. Right there, this gorgeous Peaceful Place designer paper from the holiday catalog. Oh my goodness, it's not open. <laughs> It is open, but I always cut this open, and I think it didn't get cut. I don't like peeling that back and forth and closing it, and then it sticks to my paper, and it gets makes me mad. So, this paper is gorgeous. This paper actually matches this month's paper pumpkin, by the way, that you can get by the 10th. So, that gives you a hint of the style of the paper pumpkin, which is glimmering and gleaming Christmas cards. Um, so this is Peaceful Place. You get, of course, 12 sheets, not six, but I have half a pack here. And it has the silver foil in it, in the paper. Gorgeous. So that's what I used for this card. And what else? Let me just get this card base out of the way first real quick. <laughs> I was like, where did I put the bone folder? It's here somewhere. That's why you should put things back in their spot before you move on. But I always forget. Okay. So we have basic white, four by five and a fourth. Get used to that pattern. Um, embossed with the wintry embossing folder, which I showed a couple of cards ago. It's the skinny one. So the white edge here is not embossed. And then the designer paper, gorgeous. There is foil on this side, but it's more subtle in those snowflakes. The other side is the gray and gray, <laughs> like gingham. The designer paper is three and a fourth by four and a half. Then I have some of our silver foil that is one inch by four, one by four, silver foil. The silver foil comes in the holiday catalog now. It's called Silver Foil Specialty Pack, and you get three different versions of a silver. And the other two are more of a purple, and then you get the true silver, and they're like brushed. It's like something was dragged across them, so they're sort of um, distressed. And then we have our the same ornament, I believe, from the first card, the base one cut in smoky slate, and then that snowflake ornament detail that fits right on top. It's not basic white. It is white velvet, which is actually called snowy white 
velvet sheets, snowy white velvet. So of course in person you can touch and feel and it'll be all textury and awesome for, oh, I just realized <laughs> something. But anyway, um, for your, whoever you give this card to, it'll have some, some texture. And then our greeting, half inch piece for our greeting. Okay, so this card, our stamping is our greeting. Did I use pear pizzazz? I told you I used pear pizzazz ink, but I didn't. So that was a lie whenever I said that. Take that away. You only need three ink pads to be able to make these cards. Basic gray, memento black, and real red. I used pear pizzazz color, sort of. That's what color this paper is. But we don't have a pear pizzazz blend, so I used um, sea foam. Anyway, sorry for that little maybe confusion. So, basic gray for this card, and it's going to say, to you and yours. And I'm just going to stamp it to the left of this little half-inch strip. And what do y'all think I'm going to do to that? Cut a banner to the right. <laughs> These cards sort of followed a pattern, sort of, but not exactly. Um, oh, there's supposed to be ribbon in this packet. Darn it, darn it. You should have had ribbon in this one. Um, so, of course, you would get that in your kit if you didn't get the free roll. Where is it? But I'll just tie a bow real quick. But it's the same bow as the other two cards that had the bow. Okay, so let's put this card together. Um, designer paper will go. This is a portrait layout card. So, we have the white, you know, or the flat, not embossed part of this basic white. The designer paper just goes, because it's shorter, but it goes toward the left, maybe a little thicker than a 1 8 inch border on the left, even on top and bottom, and so there's a little more space on the right where those snowflakes are. So that's just how it is. And then the silver foil goes right across the center of that-ish. Don't worry if you're not perfectly top to bottom center. And then that goes on the card base. And then white ornament, which is detail. So same as I've shown on multiple cards today. We'll just add a little adhesive with the silicone craft sheet under to the thicker parts and place that on the base, the smoky slate ornament. Simple. Dimensionals on that, on the ornament. I think all my dimension, all my ornaments are going to have five dimensionals today. And this, by the way, so this will go to the left, centered right over the silver foil, but not centered left and right. It's to the left. And then I'm going to trim off the excess on my greeting and hand cut that V. Um, don't forget if you're just catching this, you can go back and watch replay. But either way, you can comment on the video to get entered into a drawing to win these four cards. You can, um, I'm going to add dimensionals to my greeting. You can share it and comment that you shared to get entered over on YouTube. You can give me a thumbs up. You can, I'm going to place this greeting right down below the ornament to the right a little bit, overlapping the ornament some and hanging off to the white side. And that's it. Oh no, that's not it. The bow. Darn it. Anyway, I'm going to tie this bow while I talk. Um, over on YouTube, you can comment, subscribe, thumbs up, and or hit the notification bell. To be entered into my prize drawing. So I'm just going to do a bunny ear bow, but you'll get one strip unless you place a second order with me or even your first one, October 16 through 31 with the new host code, which will give you this free roll of white glittered organdy ribbon. $50 or more, the first through the 15th gets you the free rhinestones. So hint, hint, if you do two orders in one month with two different host codes, of this special, you'll get the two products plus the class kit. Okay, so there we go. 
makes me mad when the loops are not even. Like a little angry. <laughs> just work with me, loops. They can be evened out, of course. I'm just trying to rush. It's a big day today, lots to do, and uh, well, that's the main thing. Big day today. Okay, so I have my pretty bow. Doesn't this ribbon match so many different things? I love it. Uh, by the way, it is, let me check my list here. Oh no, this ribbon I think is just available. I made a list of like back orders and stuff. Beauty of the Earth, brushed metallic dots. I think this ribbon is just back available now. Actually, it was like back ordered or not available for a minute. Okay, so never mind. It's available, but you can get it free with my kit. Okay, so right there on the top of the ornament, there's our last card. Thank you, Margie. Hey, Tammy, thanks for sharing. Thanks for sharing, Linda and Julie. I appreciate it because that definitely helps my business a lot when y'all share. Hey, Eleanor, you have been enabled. <laughs> Janet, love it. Hey, Cindy. Chris, no problem adding this to your wish list. You can just shop at the retreat. You know, no problem. Thank you, Pauline. Thanks, Stella. Thanks, Janet. And uh, Ramona. <laughs> Love it. Let me go back to the bottom. Now I forgot who I said. So Pauline, thanks for sharing. Silver and white. So peaceful. Yes, very true. And I like that greeting to you and yours. Like that's a generic. You could put it or send it as a winter card, a Christmas card, an after Christmas card if you get behind, etc. <laughs> So, now, I did think this could use a rhinestone right in the middle. What do y'all think? But I didn't add one because we're going with red for this class. But you could put a rhinestone right there in the middle. Um, okay, so let me lay out. So there's going to be your class, you know, free with your order, 25 or more with the host code. And then here's the cards without the glare on them, basically. Can't tell. I need to give it a second to see if I'm in screen or not. Oh, why is it all so? Let's just scooch these over and I'll bring that camera out a little bit more. And maybe, of course, I see that this is too low now. So, anyway, um, thank you guys for tuning in today. Like I said, it's not my normal day. I normally go live on Wednesday at 9 a.m. Central, but today is yeah i'm still not in we're just going to cover up the host code i'm sure you've seen it by now um usually i go live at thursday on thursday at 9 a.m central but today is a special day getting ready for a weekend retreat yay and um so i showed you today the four card class packet that you can get free with your online order in october 2021 all month there's just two different host codes depending on what time of the month you order Right now, we're in this host code time that will, for 50 or more, you also get a free full pack of red rhinestones. Goodness. Um, and then the starting on the 16th, for 50 or more, you also get a free full roll of that white organdy ribbon. And then either way, 25 or more with a host code, you'll get the class packet. So, any questions, let me know. Lorraine, we go all over the place. <laughs> for retreats but this time we're going to Waxahachie Texas we are still locking down a permanent location so at this time it's Waxahachie Texas <laughs> um, so I don't know if you're from Texas Lorraine uh, I can't remember uh, let's see a pearl Janet Ooh, even better yes probably a pearl because then it keeps with the white theme she said a pearl on this card Good idea. Um, let me go back and see if anybody asked a question or anything. And so, um, pa what's her name? Pat said, love the silver card. And Diane also. Um, so that was the last one I designed. And I was really wanting to use the snowflake image, which I could have used it on any colors. It's fine for Christmas colors. So I was thinking blue in my head, but then when I did the first three and I got to this one and pulled out the die. I was like, 
that would be great with the gray and silver stuff. So that's how that came about. Just because I wanted to use the snowflake really bad. Because there's another die that's detailed in here too that's really pretty. It's got a Christmas tree on it. Um, and some like little starburst kind of images there. That's gorgeous as well. But for me, like I wanted to make sure I used the snowflake one. So that's how that card came about. Just a little behind the scenes there. All right. Well, everyone have a great day. Um, ooh, Nancy getting in the Christmas mood. For us, as you know, Nancy, for us crafters, yeah, we have to start early if we actually want to get these done in time and send them out. So that's part of that whole thing is um, start working early and all season so that you're not stressed at the end. So yeah, that's, I always forget to say that, like even the last month, why I'm showing Christmas so early um, in the season. It's not even Halloween yet, but to get a jump and so you're not just like, forget it, I'm just gonna buy my cards, you can start now. And that goes with my class kits, taking my classes, that builds up your collection of, of Christmas cards as well. So, all right, well, thank y'all very much. Have a great day. Thank you, France, you too. I know, Julie, so many stamps and also so little time. <laughs> um, you'll take the cards on the right, Linda? No problem, we'll see if we pull your name. <laughs> Um, awesome. Thank you guys very much. I appreciate you being here and supporting. And uh, I'll see y'all next week. We should be back on Thursday like normal at 9 a.m. So have a good one. Thank you. Bye-bye.